Hello everyone! Today I have decided that since video essays set to mildly impressive games are easy to edit and fun for me to make, they will encompass literally all of my YouTube channel, or most of it at least. Now, today I wanted to give you all my take, since literally no one asked anywhere in the universe, about skill-based matchmaking. I think skill-based matchmaking comes under fire for the weirdest reasons, and I wanted to talk about why more people should be on board with it and even like it and want it in their games. So, if you're new, you might be wondering what SBMM is, which is how we will refer to skill-based matchmaking for the remainder of this video. SBMM is where a game puts players into matches with players of similar skill levels. This is to prevent insane difference in player skill from match to match. If you were wondering, Titanfall is supposed to do this, but the game cares more about getting you into a match than waiting for a fair match, and there just aren't enough people playing Titanfall at a given time to make SBMM work properly. So, why do people not like it? A large portion of gamers, uh, specifically gamers with more time in games who take games slightly more seriously, don't like SBMM because it makes it hard to fight bad players. Any person who routinely uses Smurf accounts in populated games is trying to subvert SBMM. I should quickly stop and give a brief overview of what some SBMM systems look at. They might factor your accuracy, your kill-death ratio, your score in a match, your level, or any other number of in-game factors into what matches the system puts you in. An SBMM system also seems to have a memory. Some systems have really long memories, where it cares about your stats for the entire account as long as the account has ever existed. Other SBMM systems have shorter term memory, where the system may only care about your last 100 or even your last 5 matches to determine where you end up. Now, how does this affect Smurfs? Well, a Smurf has no level. It's a new account specifically meant to not be in the memory of the skill-based matchmaking system. What this means is that for the first few matches of a new account, the system won't effectively be able to put it into the higher skill, higher level lobbies. So when you smurf, you get a few incredibly easy matches. Smurfs generally seek to farm lower level and largely incapable players for points and content. Smurfs dislike SBMM because without it, they could probably get very similar looking matches without the hullabaloo of making a new account. Tons of other gamers don't like SBMM because they feel it makes the game less fun because they can't do as numerically well as they would against mixed level lobbies. All right, I just, ah, I cannot stand it whenever I see gamers trying to smurf or break SBMM. I think it is not only exploitative, but also not good for either party involved. But impatient, I hear you saying. N not actually, of course, that would be weird if you were saying that in my head to me. You said in your last video that the best way to improve at a game is to fight better players. No SBMM would mean that you sometimes fight the best of the best. Well, good on you for paying attention, but hear me out. I think SBMM makes improvement easier and actually makes games more fun. At any given time, there are just more bad players in a game than good ones. This means that going into a match with one level 100 is actually less likely to yield you any fruit since it has 10 other level 1s. The slightly more homogenous skill distributions of SBMM lobbies are actually better for improvement in my opinion. Any person significantly worse than you is essentially a grunt, and killing them is not improvement, it's just aimed training on a probably stationary target. It is better to fight more competent players for an entire match than fight an insane player for 20 seconds. The other reason I think no SBMM is bad for improvement is that Smurfs and SBMM breakers aren't trying to help you improve. They aren't trying to make the game more fun and they aren't trying to foster community improvement. They are pretty maliciously content farming you. If a Smurf kills you 40 times, that's probably because they're too Breathe before you say a swear word. They're too low in self-esteem to fight people their level. Or the only idea that comes to them for a YouTube video is a 40 kill game based on exploiting the game, which is also low self-esteem. If you can't tell, I want to say something meaner, but I'm 
trying to keep my PG brand image. Now, to be fair, skill-based matchmaking does have problems. Sometimes a person gets paired incorrectly and would be put into games that are so crushingly difficult that they have that they stop playing in the middle. Other times, one bad match might make you waste time fighting those previously mentioned grunts. However, the pros of fighting similar skill people instead of fighting random skill levels outweigh the negatives. SBMM does so much good for games. I personally have the most fun when I'm fighting people my level and skill. I find the most exhilaration in this game playing against stacks or in pickup competitive games and tournaments. What I'm trying to show by all this, I'm not sure if I did this amazing, um, is that SBMM is here to help you improve and not get steamrolled and to have a good time. If you are really struggling to get a high kill game and you wish SBMM was gone, then get so good that the game has to put you in a lobby you can get 40s in. You don't see esports players complain about skill-based matchmaking because they're just so good they can dunk on the best players the game can reliably put up. So I don't think it's unreasonable to be against content farming in the form of smurfing and SBMM abuse. Now, if I did miss a reason why SBMM is so hated and fought against, please let me know in the comments because I'm sure I didn't give the full story. I just gave what I could give from my knowledge. With that, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Thank you for watching this video. If you would love to support the channel, don't forget to do all the stereotypical YouTube stuff. Again, I'm not going to tell it to you because like, come on, you know what to do if you want to support. Anyways, I also have a Twitch, link in description, where you can attack me for all of the wrong opinions that you think I presented in this video. It's good. Your hate sustains me, and it gives me sustenance. Those were the same words, but it doesn't matter. I enjoy your hate. Anyways, thank you, everybody. Take care. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, stay impatient.